my channel early subs if you're new here welcome to my channel a dime on a trip so today i have an interesting video for you i'll be talking about the burj khalifa so pre-covid i visited the burj khalifa that's in dubai it's the tallest building to date and i will pretty much be showing you clips of my experiences there i just want to put out this disclaimer that we'll probably hear my screaming and my laughter and my voice more than anything else because at the time that i recorded the video i was not thinking about coming on youtube yes so i went to burj khalifa before that i went to when it was the tallest building in the world i went to the world trade center and um i went to dubai and i was like yo i gotta go to this place like i have to go to this place So Burj Khalifa is located in downtown Dubai and it's 2,717 feet long. That's like over 500 of Ornella, you know, 500 of my height. Figure it out. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah. It's mad tall, right? And it's just like ridiculously like futuristic in terms of its design. I went there. The cool thing about Burj Khalifa is that it's located like pretty much in the mall, the Dubai mall. And the Dubai mall is massive. On weekends, I think it closes at 12. So you have enough time to shop. So I did a little bit of like walking around, deciding if I wanted to get to the, you know, visited some stores. I think any store that you can think of was probably in there. All the high end, high street stores were probably there. And I was like, all right, shoot. I may never, you only live once, YOLO. And um, I'm gonna go to the tallest building and to the highest point that you can possibly go to. I can't wait. So this is like VIP treatment. Can't wait to reach to the top. You have different, you have different costs for the tickets. I don't remember all of them, but you have different costs depending on how high you want to go. And they have like a VIP treatment where you you go to the, the tallest building and not only that you go to the tallest building they also offer some sort of refreshments and you're like treated like some vip kind of ish thing it's like i probably will be doing this once so you know i'm going to go big i decided to just go all the way to the top and uh, um i decided to also do vip because i may never do it again <laughs> The chances of me going there again is very slim. Yeah, but I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go
Highlight na lang ako When I got to the top, before, when each time when I got to the levels and I reached a certain level, I'm like, mm, okay, it's all right. I don't know. I don't think I got my money's worth. In addition to that, when I actually, when we actually went into the VIP suite kind of area, they had tea. The tea was cold and they had like snacks, but there weren't like a lot of snacks there. Like they had like some things that you could eat. Like, you know, hand food, finger food. Why am I saying hand food? And uh, yeah, it was like, it wasn't like a lot of stuff. Like you can tell that there were food there, but they didn't like refill the food area or the food section. And honestly, that could be due to the fact that when I went, it was pretty late. It was like almost the 12. It was super duper late. So that could be a reason why they didn't like refresh or refill anything but the tea was cold but i was like all right boom whatever i wasn't hungry anyway because if i was ever hungry i would be so pissed but anyway as i said as i was going up the different levels um, i was like okay this looks okay this looks all right when we got to the highest point and um I got out so the higher you get the less people because you know not everybody's going to spend so much money to go all the way up to the top so when I got up to the top and I like was looking around and I looked outside it looked okay <laughs> it really doesn't show oh, really? yeah oh, good to know. Okay. I'm at the top it was like I was creating so much excitement for this <laughs> so I wasn't really impressed and I wasn't impressed either because when I looked through the glass the, the, the glass wanted to be cleaned I'm gonna be honest it was like yeah if I had something to spray on it like Windex or whatever that thing is I would spray and clean you know the glass window so I wasn't like super like stuck I was like this is it this is what I paid my money for but <laughs> this is for a second I was like where did my money go but okay okay I'm gonna do a, a whole 360 thing <laughs> Oh, this is this is worth the money. I kid you not, even though it's in the dark. <laughs> Come this way. We had the same debate. But then I started to walk around and I was like, oh my god. If this isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. This is amazing. Oh my god. I swear my money was worth it. Once in a lifetime. This is so pretty. Look at this craziness. Oh my god. Oh my god, the view! when i tell you it's wanting to be high up in the hair but it's another thing when you're looking down and you see all these different colors and you see these different buildings and you see these different lights and you're just like 
OMG, pinch me because I'm dreaming. Like, it was just beautiful. It was so amazing. I'm going to insert it here. <laughs> Be extra. I was like, yo, if a man, any type of man, could have been gullibop. And be, and be, like it be. Could have been gullibop. Or a guy could have come to me with a popcorn ring and say, will you marry me? And I would have said yes. But now I tell it a lie. I was dazed. I was like, yo, this place is beautiful. Can you imagine being proposed there? Like the other place that could compare to that would be Blue Mountain Peak. And that's a whole nother story. If you have been to Blue Mountain Peak, just comment down below or whichever the highest point you have been, comment down below. When I got up there, I was like, yo, any man can propose to me. So any single guy could propose and I would say yes. I wouldn't even think about it because I was like, this place is so beautiful. Like this place is so amazing. So yeah, like, but it's a whole different kind of scenario. Like I literally went all the way to the peak just because I'm like, I may never even hike all the way up to like a midpoint era ever again. So I was just going to take advantage of it. So yeah, I had so much fun there. It was like super nice. One of the benefits of like being VIP is that you don't have to wait in line to take the elevator to go back down. You just show them your card and stuff and they will just, you'll go in front of everybody else. So that was pretty cool when we were going back down because, yeah, <laughs> we were kind of late. Another thing that I will say, it wasn't no historical lesson. There, were, there was no educational lesson there. It was just you going there, looking at a pretty building, looking at like lights and so on and so forth. There were things there that you could read if you were interested, but like it was, it, it was very vain. It was just all about looks, you know what I mean? Um yeah but thank you for watching and until next time keep safe bye